questions after more unidentified objects are discovered over U.S. and Canadian airspace. According to a senior administration official, this latest object was in the shape of an octagon, unmanned, and traveling near sensitive sites at an altitude of 20,000 feet, posing a civilian flight risk. First detected Saturday as it flew over Montana, President Biden gave the order to shoot it down once it reappeared on radar out of an abundance of caution and at the recommendation of military leaders. From the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, who has said on Twitter, I ordered the takedown of an unidentified object that violated Canadian airspace at NORAD Command, shot down the object over the Yukon. Canadian and U.S. aircraft were scrambled and a U.S. F-22 successfully fired at the object. The Prime Minister goes on to say that he spoke with President Biden this afternoon. Canadian forces will now recover and analyze the wreckage of the object. And he goes on to thank Norad for keeping watch over North America. Now, this is the third um, object that has been uh, spotted over North America in just the past week. You'll remember, of course, that the US Air Force shot down a Chinese spy balloon last week. Uh, an identified object, which was described as the size of a small car, was taken down on Friday. And now, a third one taken down over the Yukon, the Canadian Prime Minister telling us that. It represented a reasonable threat to civilian aircraft. Canadian and American fighter jets were scrambled uh, and an American F-22 successfully shot down the object. Anything that approaches North America, if it's unknown, uh, I'm going to go identify it and assess is it a threat. Uh, if it is a threat, I'll shoot it down. If it's not a threat, the kinetic military threat that we talked about earlier, uh, it's not committing a hostile act or hostile intent, then we'll have a broader discussion. That raises the question, um, have you ruled out aliens or extraterrestrials? terrestrials and if so why because that is what everyone is asking us right now but i haven't ruled out anything uh, at this point we continue to assess uh, every threat or potential threat unknown that approaches north america uh, with an attempt to identify it we have been more closely scrutinizing our airspace at these altitudes including enhancing our radar which may at least partly explain the increase in objects that we've detected over the past week the last uh, you know two weeks or so 10 days has been uh, nothing short of um, craziness and uh, the military needs to have a plan to not only determine uh, what's out there but determine the dangers that go with it. Today the Chinese government accused the US of using covert balloons to spy on its territory 10 times saying America should reflect on itself rather than smear others. That's been denied by the White House but the US has historically had espionage programs involving balloons Project Gentrix used them in the 1950s to spy on the Soviet Union. More recently, sightings from US fighter jets of unexplained objects over America have increased dramatically, according to a recent official report. Navy videos like this might not be evidence of aliens visiting Earth, but perhaps foreign countries probing US military capabilities. The, the White House national security spokesperson are, are talking about those unidentified objects, this isn't it? low-speed craft. Now, let me start with the Chinese program. When President Biden came into office, he directed the U.S. intelligence community to do a broad assessment of Chinese intelligence capabilities and to, assure, and to ensure that we were working to detect and to protect against them. I think for reasons that you will all understand, we cannot publicly go into many details about how we discover uh, and counteract foreign intelligence collection efforts, because much of what we have done and are doing is, of course, sensitive. The president also instructed the intelligence community to take a broad look at the phenomenon of unidentified aerial objects. Indeed, President Biden conducted the first ever daily intelligence briefing session devoted to this phenomenon back in June of 2021. He was briefed that this is not just an issue for the United States, but one for the rest of the world. And as I said, our friends and our partners are dealing with this as well. We worked on a bipartisan basis to stand up an office at the Pentagon to study this in partnership with the intelligence community, academic institutions, and the private sector. These unidentified aerial phenomena have been reported for many years without explanation or deep examination by the government. President Biden has changed all that. We are finally trying to understand them better.